Hey guys, Phyllis here. I make this video on a build I've recently came up with, and it's centered around this item here. So, pretty item specific. You are going to need to have this as the key. The spec is developed around this item. It's quite rare, and it synergizes really well with some of the recent changes to the Marauder. Um, so you're also going to need to have six-piece Marauder. You can go about that couple of different ways. Ideally you would have the slot for the taskers. So you want the Ring of the Grandeur, the five pieces of Marauder that you have to have, the helm, shoulder, chest, legs, and boots. And then you fit in the taskers. This is going to enhance the effectiveness of your sentries as well as your pets. You got the Harrington on the waist not really necessary. You can put the Witching Hour here, but on the higher difficulties, the Harrington's going to be good. Stone of Jordan, typical. Reaper Wrap, same thing. Just want the same stuff as always. And then the other item, the build kind of centers around and is really enhanced by having it's going to be this Bombardier's Rucksack. Gives you two additional sentries, and with the six-piece Marauder, your sentries are going to be your main source of damage, so that's really strong, really good value there. So that's the loot for the build, and that's the items that it's built around. And So the build is fire-based, so you got the multi-shot arsenal, loaded for bear on the cluster arrow, Spitfire turret, the regular vault for tumble just for the mobility, spike trap is going to be used for a taunt as you'll see in the gameplay in a little while. It's really effective, nice synergy with the build here. And then we got the companion obviously with the marauder value, the good slot there. And for the passives we got the ballistics, this is a multiplicative increase on the damage so it's going to double the damage of your rockets and then it's going to amplify with the fire damage you have these two abilities that are doing the rockets 160 percent here 70 percent here both of those are going to benefit from this you got perfectionist for the ehp buff and the discipline reduction make your vault a little bit cheaper mostly just for the ehp and same thing for awareness on the higher content these passives are really really good and this one here, you could drop this depending on the group, depending on what you're doing. If you're running bounties or something, you're going to want to take tactical. Um, otherwise, you can fit something else in here. You know, you could go with some damage passives, maybe ambush, steady aim. There's really a lot of options for this one. I like tactical. Generally, the movement speed is useful. So, And it's really just a comfort thing for me. I really like having that movement speed increase, but you definitely could switch that for more damage. So that's the spec, that's the gear. Um, I'll show a little bit of gameplay on a rift, kind of talk about how to utilize the build. So here we go, we got a T6 rift with the build, and basically the idea, you want to set your sentries out early, and position your spike traps in such a way to pull the monsters into like the focus of your sentry and you can also drop the trap and then the sentry kind of like once the monsters run toward the trap a little bit you can drop the sentry and then it'll as soon as you drop the sentry it opens with the cluster arrow so you, know, you drop the spike trap, and then the monsters go toward it, and then you drop the sentry, and then the sentry hits them all right there with the cluster. So it works really well, you just kind of keep rotating between that. And on the elite, you're going to incorporate the wolf and the boar, so you start with the spike trap, get your sentries out. Once the taunt from the trap is done, you go in and taunt with the boar, get the damage buff from the wolf. And by the time the boar taunt is over, you're ready to drop another spike trap taunt. So you can rotate between the first spike trap, the companion active, and then the second spike trap. So by the time the spike trap taunts over and the boar taunt is over, the spike trap is cooled down and ready to be taunted again. So it works really well. It's pretty much uh, 15 seconds of crowd control on the elite. So 
And you can usually kill them within that amount of time. Not often is that an issue. And it's very similar to some of the other sentry builds and the zookeeper build. You do want to kind of like pull the monsters into more monsters and the more that's going on, kind of the more effective the build is going to be. It's got a lot of AoE potential. Uh, and the single target's not the best, but it does reasonably well also at the single target. So you can see here I'm trying to like scout to find some extra stuff to pull into the sentries. There's not really much going on. And the health globes are giving you resources through the reaper wraps. You get the hatred. And you can see I kind of just drop the spike trap, drop the sentry. Monsters go to the spike trap. And then get more sentries out. I'm rotating between the spike trap taunt, the boar taunt, and then the other spike traps. I'm going to just skip ahead a little bit, just to kind of save time, show how I handle the Rift Guardian. And you can see, you know, it's getting close to 100%, so I'm not clicking on stuff to save for the Harrington to use against the Rift Guardian. And then I use one against this Elite. And get the little buff. And then just watch how fast he goes down. Reasonably quick, got a nice double drop there. Good value. One more quick look at the spec here. Again, using the cannon bolter and the spike trap to taunt the monsters in for the CC. It's doing really well. Lots of fun, very effective good build. Hope you guys enjoy that. Hope you can look forward to maybe collecting the loot. It's quite a gear intensive build. You got a lot of loot you have to collect to be able to run it. But it is a lot of fun. It's really strong. Thanks for watching. See you next time.